All right, hello there and welcome. My name is Santi and right now I'm going to show you how to style the tags in your Obsidian nodes in a, in a really cool way. Okay, this is called tag peels and we're going to cover it in just one second. Now, if you go control E, which is going to allow you to go on and off, you can see how Obsidian tags display, right? And we're going to put a little bit of a code in our Obsidian CSS in order to modify the way this looks. Now, just a bit of a disclaimer, something to keep in mind is that I'm showing the keys that I'm pressing, but sometimes you'll see some keys going all over the place. These keys allow me to select tags and do things, go to the top, to the bottom and so on. And this is something called Vim, which I really, really want to teach is something that is at the end of the editor, Vim key bindings, you can turn them on right now. I have them on, uh, but yeah, Vim really allows you to navigate through things really quickly. Right now I am creating an online course on Obsidian and Vim is one of the biggest things that I'm excited to teach the course as, as I'm recording this is still in development. Uh, but yeah, I mean, by the time you're checking this out, there might be more on Vim, which is one of the coolest things that I want to teach. And is the biggest reason why I chose to use Obsidian because it supported Vim. Uh, but yeah, a bit more of a disclaimer, just because you might see some keys being pressed and I want to show you the shortcuts that I use. So yeah, <laughs> with that, with that said, I'm going to show you how to actually activate this function. So right now, if we go to this post right here, you're going to. I'm going to leave this link in the description. You're going to be able to see this post in the community of Obsidian, which is common CSS hacks. Now in here, you can see um, different things that you can do to add extended functionality in Obsidian. In this case, we're going to actually use this code. I'm actually going to copy it. And I'm going to show you where you can paste this. You can actually use this in your Obsidian CSS file. Now, your Obsidian CSS file is a file where you can add the code of your theme. So when you download a theme, which in this case, for instance, I'm using my own theme that I created, which you can access by looking for my name, Santi Younger, Scott Reverie. When you use a theme, and right now I'm just going to activate it. It's already activated, but you can overwrite. And now you have code that is going to style the way everything looks regarding colors, the size of things, the, the, the color of everything really. And now you'll have some code in your Obsidian bolt that you can access in order to modify things such as tags. So right now I'm going to show you, you can actually edit this by using a text editor, which I've talked about in previous videos, such as Atom. And if you download this, you're going to be able to access, you know, to easily modify that because even though Obsidian is good for note for notes and so on, um, Atom is going to be a text editor that is going to allow you to modify code easily. So once you install Atom, you can actually go to file and then open folder and open the folder of the vault that you're using, which in my case is called Obsidian Personal Demo. And right now if I press Control P, so yeah, Control P, which is gonna allow you to search for all of your different files. And I'm gonna look for Obsidian, if I can spell obsidian.css, which is in here. I have a secondary one, but don't worry about that. So you can open that and now in this case, it's going to load the, the code of the, the theme that I'm using, which is the one that I created in this case. Now, if you go to the very bottom of things, here's where you can paste and well, you can do comments, right? So you can do this followed by that. And this is going to be tag bills, which is the name of this functionality that we're adding. That, that code will probably come with a comment, but it's just good to know how to do comments. This is just a section in your code that is not going to be read as code that way you can have annotations and so on. So here we're going to copy the code and let me just copy it again, just for the sake of demonstration. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to copy this and I am going to paste it here. Cool. There we go. Now Obsidian, uh, not, not Obsidian, sorry, Atom uh, shows you when the file has been saved or not. So right now it's going to show as a blue dot because it's unsaved. So control S is going to save it. And actually, before we go back to Obsidian, let me just explain what this little thing is doing. It's going to actually detect the specific tag, such as if you use the, the tag Obsidian, it's going to change it to a specific color. Now, because I don't want things to interfere that much right now, you can always modify this if you want to into specific colors. But honestly, I just like keeping all tags the same color. I'm going to delete that real quick. And once we save it, I'm going to go back to Obsidian and check this out because it's not going to look good yet. If we go back here, 
it is going to have the shape, but it's not going to really be visible, at least not in my theme. You can try this in different themes. It might work straight out of the bat, like with the theme that you're using. But personally, because my theme like has some com conflicts with this, it's going to look weird. Now, what I do to solve this, at least in my case, is just to delete this again. I'm going to save it. And in my case, I made some modified code to look better with my theme. And it might look better with the theme that you're using. So is this thing right here. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it here. So after pasting that, I'm going to save this again. I'm going to save it. And if we go back to Obsidian and we go into preview mode, now you will see this is what I currently use. I might still modify a little bit of the black, but I like it. I mean, personally, it's I think it's really cool. The fact that it has these borders and this is one that I modified for my particular theme. Now, I'm pretty sure it works for other themes, um, but I mean, yeah, it was really considered for mine. You know what? Actually, I'm kind of curious to see if it would work with another theme. Uh, let me just overwrite this. And if we go back to Atom, Atom automatically updates. So now Obsidian CSS is for the theme that we're currently using. And I'm going to add a comment in here. So tags, tag pills, which is the name of this thing. And yeah, I'm going to paste the code. There we go. I just saved it. And if we're back, yeah, cool. It works. So it actually looks really nice in here. Uh, but yeah, so that's how it works. Let me just go back to my theme. There we go. Now, you will notice probably that some themes already have this built in, which I think is really cool. I've actually kind of considered to implement this as a as an automatic thing that goes inside my theme. I would just have to tweak with the colors a little bit more. But yeah, with that said, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave a link to the original code. And if you are interested in the one that I modified to look like this, uh, then yeah, I'm also gonna link that in the description. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do check out the online course in the description if you're interested to learn more about Obsidian to become a power user and so on, as well as how to deal with personal knowledge management, which is what we're all in here for, to learn to organize our ideas and build a system that just works for your goals. So yeah, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.